What's going on everyone? CRK here and uh, the moment has finally come. We have, well I guess before I show you the package because we're going to get right into that. If you haven't seen this short about how I almost lost a few bucks on this, go check it out because it is a learning lesson that you can make with all of your coins once you start accumulating more than you uh, can handle I guess. Here it is. This is our, I want to say one and a half pound bag of coins so this thing is pretty massive and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna just gonna get right into it um, I didn't do much research on this pretty much I've just been ready to open it I'm not an expert in this uh, particular coin but it seemed like a good deal to pass up on because I do continue to like uh, collecting what is inside of here and let's check that out let's see what what it is that's inside of here bam look at that the suspense I'm glad I didn't tell you what I like to collect but uh you can probably imagine I'm not picking up a pound and a half of silver at a time I mean, definitely would be nice but uh have not even started monetizing yet so we're gonna hold off on that but this is a pound and a half of copper, if you haven't guessed yet. What kind of copper? Um, the kind that I could afford to pick up a pound and a half of, so let's check it out. And then what I'm probably gonna do with this stuff is, depending on the grade, probably, probably lower grades to be honest, um, but if I could separate it into like, I don't, I don't know, VG or G, or whatever the case may be, just kind of separate it around into smaller portions um, I could probably just resell this and make a few bucks and move on to the next deal because at this point I've hit the I've hit the stage of not wanting to open any more safety deposit boxes and having to kind of remember what's where so at this point, anything that comes in will either have to be graded and traded for something in the collection or pretty much put in lots and resold, um, which is, it's fun and it isn't, but uh, it's just kind of what has to be done to keep things moving and to not consume um, any more boxes or anything else that's needed especially for this kind of stuff right it's cool it's very beautiful um, and actually some of these are cooler than I thought they were gonna be the pictures were dark uh, were darker in a darker setting so uh, it was kind of hard to see clearly but again that's why you take the chance on these that's why they sit online and you know there's 10 or 12 people that like it but no one ends up you know they're watching but nobody ends up pulling the trigger um, so you just gotta take the chance once in a while and so this is a cool lot I think that this was well worth it um, I'll probably open this up too just to get a better look at some of these um, I actually really like this right of course every lot's got one or two of those but um looks like we even have steel cents in here or they're just yeah these are probably steel cents all of these like 43s or whatever they are um, but yeah, let me see what I paid for this because I really don't, I don't think it was a crazy amount. So for this here, the item subtotal was $19. Shipping was basically a dollar, oh no, sorry, three, four bucks. And sales tax was basically a dollar and change. So yeah, a dollar and nine cents. 20, what is this? 2409 was the total for this. And a message from the seller. Thank you so much for your purchase. I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's one pound, eight ounces, over 200 count. And then these are, let's see. Oh, so they even, he even has them graded good to very fine. So not bad, right? You know, most of them in there do, do fall under that category. 1940 to 1958. And so what, if you guys have any experience selling these, what would you recommend like pricing the lot at 
like let's say if I did a lot of like 20 what would you price a lot of 20 or a lot of 50 of these so that uh, you know ideally I can make money too because I'm sure I've seen like lots of 20 on these go for like 10 or 15 bucks by themselves so you know once you start doing that if you if you get closer to the $15 mark and the person is still willing to pay shipping then I think this would definitely turn a profit so um, but again I don't know I don't know what's fair for this grade and if these really are um, good to very fine I really couldn't tell you because I still as for as much as I work with coins I still haven't really figured out that gist of it you know and then like I couldn't tell you know like this I could tell it's beat up everywhere but if this was just a darker tone I couldn't tell you if because it was you know in the same grade as this same condition I couldn't tell you which one would have been cleaned or toned properly so it is what it is um, I think that I don't know if that comes with time or you have to really try to study that um, but I know these aren't like obviously the best coins but they are beautiful coins and like someone said before like <laughs> we got to give them a break because of their age um, and definitely you know if it was circulated most of these are still in excellent condition and this one here this is the one I'll probably just put this aside right now or pick pick a lot of 10 uh, the 10 best ones that I like and probably just put those aside bam for myself <laughs> and then I guess I can disperse the uh, the other 190 evenly throughout a I don't know different different set lots but um, I'll probably I'll probably have to break this down or figure out how I'm gonna do this I don't want to hold you guys hostage for 10 minutes uh, while I'm sifting through all of these because I want to get you more content I have plenty of videos that I can make right now so if you guys like this if you want me to go through the entire bag um, if you want to see a video like that let me know or if I can do a time lapse I can also do a time lapse of me sorting these out and then uh, at the end show you I don't know just the very best first and second best lot so keep me posted what I'm gonna do now is I'm probably going to figure out what the next video is and then um, get that one going as well catch you on the next one peace oh and if you celebrate and this is out today or tomorrow happy easter have a good one